Hello Internet, we are back here with the suicidal guy who's talking about Israel films and we're going to just start... I guess we're gonna shoot this guy. You know, if I had to say what this game reminded me of, it reminds me a lot of a, a PS2 game that I played a long time ago. I don't remember it, so I'm gonna try and remember before the end of this episode. Borkas usually contain high levels of fat and trans fat due to the fact that borkas are made from margarine based dough. Indeed, high level of trans fats put you at a risk of heart disease and stroke. I, I'm glad that this game is teaching me something. I feel like I'm maybe learning something that I'll never need to know. I really need to find more guts. Can I beat this guy to death and take some guts? I mean, he he wanted to die anyway. He may no okay. Um, back to shooting things, I guess. Man, I need to be closer. I mean, I'm shooting that guy in the head, and he won't die. A little motherland. Hey, boss, we're over here in the corner. Make sure you kill those zombies because unfortunately we can't. So this is the mother and fatherland. Wonderful, you have arrived. If you. If you're wondering why we couldn't help you, it's because we're NPCs. And NPCs in these sorts of games just kind of uh, stand around, do jack shit, waiting for the protagonist to wake us up. That's very blunt description. I find that using blunt descriptions hammer my point home more than polite descriptions. I don't agree with that statement, but whatever floats your boat. In any case, boss, we have called you here for a very special reason. That reason is not if you can quote the greatest poet motherland here, shooty shooty bang bang services. Again, blunt descriptions. Uh, we require your combat expertise, boss. There, that's better. It's less unprofessional. Basically, we want to bring down the developer of this game. Yes, boss, you're being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. You've already experienced some of it now. Survival horror zombie first person shooter. Yes, whatever he said. We can, or we have managed to hack into the system and break dancing, in uh, dancing Ingi's control of us. While we can't fight, we can teleport you and ourselves, and basically say whatever we want. But I digress. We want to give the power of free will to everyone. So you're going to just play along, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill Dancing Inji. Which is good, because I don't want to fight myself. You're basically going full JRPG here, using the power of friendship to kill God. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Uh, are you boss? That is correct. What do you want with boss? We are boss's personal assistants. We're in a meeting right now. Do you want to leave a message? Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Motherland, fatherland, and boss, you are under arrest. For what? Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of the zombie species. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You'll be representing yourself in the trial, boss. As in, legal trial? Yes, a legal trial. In fact, it'll be commence it will commence right after this loading screen. Wow, this is I love meta games and this game is doing it amazingly. I love it. Uh, this is probably the most fun I've had in the game in a while. The court is now in session for the trial of boss. The persecution is ready, your honor. Wait, the developer is the prosecution representing himself? Yes. How is that fair? Dancing engine e ingi is unable to override the core decisions. How? He's the creator of the game. Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, your honor. I'm sorry, but boss will be representing themselves this trial. That sucks. Yeah, right, I forgot the boss is a silent protagonist. Well, I guess we're representing boss then. Like hell you are. There, I gave you basic speak speech functions for this level. Have fun, thank you. Hm. my way or the highway type, eh? Oh, jeez. I'm going with this one. Yeah, and if I may, just say something to uh, Inji before we begin. Oh, you're the best developer ever. I love this game, I love this level, and I love you. Oh, I see how this is. Ha 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 ha. What the fuck did you do to boss? Oh my god, Inji, you're so handsome. Marry me. <laughs> oh, okay, I see, how, I see how this is. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I planted this dialogue option to see if boss would choose it. I did choose it. That's, uh... Tricky, tricky. 
That shit you made boss say tells us more about you, Ingi, than anything. Hey, if it makes you any happier, all other dialogue options were genuine. Well, I'm... Okay, fair enough. Well, if you created a whole courtroom level, one might assume you want us to have a trial. Correct. Then I think this is best that we proceed. Fuck you, though. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hereby conclude that... <laughs> you definitely deserved that fuck you. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Let's, let us proceed. Let's proceed, then. Boss is charged of conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. Never! The prosecution calls for the first witness to the stand. Please state your name and occupation. Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces. Armed? You don't have any firearms. Common misconception. We're called the Armed Forces because we use our arms to attack. That's a pretty, pretty literal interpretation of the term. But you do you. Mr. Fatherland, please refrain from digressing us from the trial. I agree. Moving right along here. Wait. You look nay identical to the other zombies we encountered. Miss Motherland, our people find these kind of comments offensive. It's akin to saying, all you humans look the same. Well, considering this art style, everyone kind of looks the same. Mr. Zed, you claim the boss was unlawfully slaughtered your forces. Am I right? Yes, yes, slaughtered in the full sense of the word, our peaceful homeland because of a bloodbath. Peaceful, my ass. I heard that. You can read my thoughts? Yeah, they were displayed in a text box right there. We could all, we could all see them. So I can't even think privately? Is this another one of your jokes? Like that trap answer from before? Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony regarding boss. It'll be my pleasure. Testimony. I stationed my troops at the forest as always. Nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, but didn't think much of it. Suddenly I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. Lovely boss right here killed them all. For no reason. They were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt anyone, not even a fly. I disagree. <laughs> they deserve a death sentence immediately. Mr. Zed, please refrain from these kinds of statements. This is just my opinion. The defense may stop. The defense may now start the bullshit examination. Boss, you're gonna have to deal with this yourself, but at least uh, tell you how to perform a good bullshit examination. Do you want to hear it? Tell me to how to examine bullshit. Uh, the witness will testify again, but this time you will have the option to call bullshit on any one of his statements. Perfect. Be careful not to call out neutral statements or statements devoid of lies. You will lose the court's trust in your case. If you screw up five times, we lose the case. So consider which statements you call out. That's about it, really. Go get them, tiger. I've got this. I say to my truth to the four as always. Nothing particularly exciting happened for about the first three hours. That, that happened. Heard the gate open. Uh, that also happened. I did not kill them all, and they did hurt me. Mr. Zed, you said that your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival? Exactly, you just killed them. You also said that, and I quote, Zombies don't hurt anyone, not even a fly. I stand by that. Then how do you explain the fact that when approached, zombies pers pursued me and tried to kill me? Impossible, but I, w I would never. Are you really going to take boss's testimony here? We waited out in the forest and we saw firsthand how the zombies attacked first. Fatherland is correct. Every zombie boss killed was in self-defense. What? So boss is cleared of the first charge on account of self-defense. What? I do believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that the zombies... No, 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 I refuse to believe that the zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans on sight is outlawed. You can deny that all you want. The court unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. So, let's move on to our second allegation against boss, which is... Shut the fuck up. What? I suspect this sort of language toward a judge can get you kicked out of court. I will not rest until I will get definitive proof that my zombies were hostile toward humans. As I said, proof that isn't you people. I suggest you give him what he wants, boss. We're going to be here all day otherwise. Can't you help us here? Hey, you started this whole fiasco, you solve it. So proof that zombies are hostile. Tell them, boss. Will the final boss be able to find definitive proof? 
that zombies are hostile? Will he be able to clear his name? Find out on the next episode of Ultra ADHD.